all right guys welcome back and in this example i am going to be showing you guys the first type of layout that you can use with gtk and that is the grid layout now as i'm sure you guys can guess a grid layout is a way that you can lay out your widgets using rows and columns so it's pretty simple to understand one of the easiest in my opinion so the first thing you need to do is if you call gtk grid then there you go so this is our layout and let's just go ahead and add it to the screen before we can start adding our widgets so basically we make a blank grid and then we make a bunch of widgets and then we need to pretty much give each widget a coordinate of where it's supposed to be in the grid and there's some other cool things that we can do too so i'll just uh create a bunch of buttons or create a bunch of buttons I'll create six of them. So button one, GTK button, and I'll just keep things real simple. So just say button one, and I'll just copy this. All right, button one, two, three, four, five, and six. Dun, 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 dun. All right, boom roasted. So we got six buttons looking sweet. Now for the first one, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add it without any coordinates at all. I'm just gonna say we have a grid and we're just gonna add button one. Now, just saying that, and this is what I always do for my first one, by default, it places it in the top left. I mean, I guess it's just there, not on the top left. It's the only thing on our grid right now. But I like to add this first because this button one is gonna be a reference point whenever we add our other buttons. And you can actually um, add them in different kinds of ways as we're gonna be seeing. But the um, one of the easiest ways is if you call grid attach, then this is a way that you can add um, more widgets to it. So this takes a couple parameters first. What else do you want to add to the grid? Well, how about button two? We want that one to display too. So button two, and it actually takes five parameters. That's just the first. The second one is what column? Well, I'll tell you guys all the parameters. So what item do you want to add? Button two, the column, the row, and you can also give it um, a width and a height, or in other words, column span or row span if you're familiar with HTML. So basically, and remember this, since computers start counting at zero, your first row is the zero and your first column as well. So if you want it to appear in the second column or the second row, that's actually one. So I'm gonna write one right here and that's gonna appear in the second column. So, you know, that's just remember that. So the next thing I wanna do is I want this to appear in the top row because I just want this button two right next to button one, just on the right hand side. So in the very first row, that's zero. So it's gonna appear in the second column, in the top row, or the first row. And now I'm actually wanna make this twice as wide. So I'm just gonna write a width of two, and I'll just write a height of one. Now this is actually um, technically called column span, and what is it, row span but it's the same thing as the width and the height. So now we have button two that's to the right of button one and it's twice as wide, simple enough. Now that is grid attach and let me tighten this up just a wee bit. All right, so I have button two and button one added. Another thing that you can do is if you just don't wanna give it the coordinates like this and this can get kind of confusing if you have a lot of widgets, you can actually position these in reference to other widgets. So what if you just wanna say we wanna add button three, but we wanna position it in reference to button one? Well, what we can do is we can call grid attach next to, so this one was attached, this one was attached next to, and this also takes some other parameters. The first one is, all right, what widget are you trying to add to the screen? Button three, didn't add that one yet. And now the other ones is, what object should it be placed next to? Well, let's just position this in reference to button one. And 
here let me type this first so ttk position type bottom all right so this next parameter after this is it's saying okay i know you're trying to add three next to button one but how do you want it to be positioned next to it to the right of it to the left of it on top of it below it well i want button three to be below button one so that's why i said bottom right here so in reference to button one how do you want it to be positioned and the last two parameters are the same so i'm just gonna write like a one and two so it's gonna have a default width of one and i'll make it twice as tall as normal just so you guys can see that you know you can change it up a bit and actually let me pause my video and i won't make you guys watch me do this all right so i also added my other buttons right here i didn't want to talk you guys through that because i don't know i already explained it like one second ago don't want to repeat myself didn't want to have to put you guys through that but there you go added all six buttons hopefully i did it right and check it out so here's button one that's the one we just added make sure i don't lose that so button one we just added it to the grid nothing you know we didn't even give it any coordinates or anything and that's why it appeared in the top left right here now for button number two what we did is we attached it to the grid and we gave it a coordinate of one zero which means the second column the first row or the top row and we also gave it the last two parameters of two one which means a width of two and a height of one so that's why it was twice as wide as the other ones and remember this third one for button three right here we attach it next to button one and we said to the bottom of it so that's why it's below bottom one and we gave it a width and a height of one and two so a width of one and a height of two and then the rest of these you guys can look see how i position those but there you go so in this example i probably made it more confusing than it really is but the cool thing about this is you only have to get your layout once and then you know you don't have to like change it or you're not going to be like moving these buttons around usually so it's better just to actually write it down on a piece of paper that's what i always do I know it's kind of cheating, but it makes it a lot easier. And then, uh, yeah, you can visually see exactly where everything needs to go. And to be honest, I usually just use attach every single time because attach next to kind of gets confusing whenever you have a complicated layout. So just use this, and it's basically like playing Battleship with your widget. So boom roasted, good to go. This is almost too easy. And in the upcoming tutorials, I'll show you guys some other types of layouts that may be a little bit easier for your application. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.